So now uh, we discussed about the tropical uh, evergreen forest. So as we discussed, like forests are divided into uh, different types depending on the climate conditions. So basically, uh, evergreen and deciduous forest are the very important uh, terminology which we have to learn. Evergreen is ever at the all the year the rainfall is you know uh, heavy and uh, you get the throughout the year there is a rainfall where the plants grow throughout the year and the greenish color you will find in the forest throughout the year are called evergreen forest whereas deciduous forest are the plants during the summer during the dry uh, season the leaves like uh, the main uh, part of the plant where they form they prepare the food is leaves only because leaves only will get the sun rays and they only prepares food for the whole plant so these leaves because of the less uh, uh, no uh, no uh, because of this less water vapor they can't prepare the food so what happens these leaves which are becoming uh, no uh, like you know they have to conserve the water so just to conserve the water they shed the leaves they shed the leaves so once if the plant shed uh, their leaves and they become the thin so this kind of uh, plants we find in the deciduous forest that means every any time there is a deciduous forest means the plants the trees of this forest shed their leaves during summer seasons that is very important so we have uh, uh, almost you know uh, the many types of forest now we discuss about the tropical evergreen forest tropical evergreen forest are also known as tropic rain forests that means here rains are heavy the word itself says and where it is occurring this kind of forest will occur usually near the equator near the equator as we have learned in the earlier classes in the uh, atmosphere that rainfall is heavy that means throughout the year there is a huge rainfall and uh, every day once if they are getting the water and the sunlight is also you know the temperature is also huge so the temperature is also good water is also good that means here the plant is becoming tree you know and uh, very healthy uh, environment you observe in the tropical uh, part of the globe and there is no dry season no single day is too hot that you know it's experiencing that that means this is the area this is the forest where you don't find any dry season all the time you feel very wet and cool so likewise these trees do not shed leaves as we have discussed earlier so evergreen forest that means the trees of these forests they won't shed the leaves so they do not shed the leaves because all the day they are getting water all the day they are getting the sunlight so why to shed leaf so and then even if they shed they won't shed all together that means sometime one tree may shed some leaves but not all to all trees shed their leaves but that happens in the deciduous forest but now so and again this tropical forest the trees do not allow even the sunlight even in the daytime during the daytime also the scorching sun rays cannot touch the earth surface because these trees are uh, protecting the sun rays to touch the earth surface so this kind of forest we call as a tropical evergreen forest and here the mainly you know uh, the so for us for human beings the importance of this evergreen forest we get huge trunks of trees from evergreen forest like rosewood ebony mahogany so these kind of trees commonly you observe you see and you get 
from tropical evergreen forest and what is the importance of these trees because we take wood furniture wood from these trees you get all construction material uh, for building you know houses and uh, also for making a uh, furnitures so we get a uh, wood uh, usually from the evergreen forest trees and also the animals you get uh, like snakes you know other uh, uh, wild animals you get in this uh, tropical evergreen forest coming to the next uh, tropical deciduous forest so as we have discussed deciduous forest the trees they shed the lives according to the temperature and uh, so usually you observe this kind of forest in the monsoon forest so also it's seasonal it affects with the season if there is more rainfall then the forest uh, look like evergreen but if the dry temperature is summer season they the trees of these trees or you know sheds way and uh, especially most of these trees all together they shed the waste this kind of uh, forest usually you observe in many parts of the india and also north australia and central america so these are the areas where you commonly observe tropical deciduous forest and to conserve water so usually these trees they shed their leaves and uh, Uh, very importantly we get uh, trees like sal uh, wood teak wood neem wood and shisham wood uh, or also these trees we get from these areas they are very common in this uh, forest tropical deciduous forest and as you know this is very important for our uh, furniture and uh, buildings to get this kind of uh, firewood all etc yeah the third uh, forest uh, type which we have discussed is temperature evergreen forest so temperature evergreen forest uh, usually they occur in mid latitudinal coastal belt of the world that means there where uh, this uh, rainfall is higher at the, the the temperatures like but usually eastern margins of the continents uh you get uh, this kind of uh, rainfalls like where the higher uh, uh, rainfall you higher pressure rainfalls and uh, this kind of uh, temperature evergreen forest usually observed in southeastern asia so in uh, and also in usa uh, so like china and also you know south american southeast part like southeast brazil also they get they experience this kind of rainfalls and this kind of forest you observe mainly in this so especially we get oak trees like hard and also we get pine uh, trees eucalyptus you know soft trees soft trees majorly important for our pulp and also for paper production so paper industries they need soft uh, wood trees like example eucalyptus so you get hard trees hard wood trees and soft wood trees in this uh, temperature evergreen forest so likewise we have the fourth uh, temperature deciduous forest as i said like deciduous that means where you get the forest you know the leaves are shed away uh, during the higher temperatures at the you know summer time so higher uh, latitudes experience this kind of uh, deciduous forest and uh, usually you know you observe in north east part of usa and north china and also new zealand where the the cold region but whenever they experience the higher temperatures so immediately uh, the the trees you know they shed the leaves so this uh, deciduous forest temperature deciduous forest you observe in uh, new zealand north east usa china and commonly we get a uh, trees like oak tree ash beech birch so most softwood trees you get uh, from this kind of uh, con- conditions and also from this forest so that's about the forest types